Christ. Oh, wow. Awaiting visual confirmation. Yep, they got the confirmation. It just intentionally crashed a spacecraft into this asteroid. You saw it moving there frame by frame until the feet eventually cuts out on impact. Happened about a half hour ago. The goal, test whether the space agency can deflect a space rock if someday one starts hurtling toward Earth. In other words, test whether NASA could potentially save humankind. The lead scientist in the mission says they didn't want to blow the thing up. That would be a problem. They just want to give it a little nudge. Sort of like, as she put it, running a golf cart into the Great Pyramid. Morgan Brennan covers space for CBC. Morgan, a direct hit, but did it actually shift the trajectory? Ah, well, that is the big question that scientists trained with telescopes are now eagerly going to be looking to answer, and that process is going to take some time. But the crash itself was a success for an autonomous spacecraft launched 10 months ago that smashed into an asteroid at 14,000 miles per hour as the world here watched 7 million miles away. So what just transpired was humankind's first attempt ever to change the motion of a celestial body. It's also the first mission solely focused on planetary defense, and that's raised comparisons to the movie Armageddon. But unlike the 90s film, the DART tests vending machine-sized spacecraft crashed into a football field-sized asteroid, not to blow it up, but to simply alter its orbit. So these are the images of the asteroid Dimorphos, as well as its bigger sibling Didymos. Dimorphos, essentially a moon that orbits the larger asteroid. And it's worth noting that they both do not pose a threat to Earth, but are an ideal test bed for, for NASA. Now, as the spacecraft hurtled toward its target, it projected one picture per second back to Earth, showing the first images that we've ever been able to collect of these asteroids before, as you mentioned, that loss of signal indicating a successful crash with scientists from the agency and Johns Hopkins cheering. Shep, it is a mission of firsts, but if the asteroid's trajectory was altered, this could provide a way to save humanity, hypothetically at least, from a fate suffered by the dinosaurs. But another setback for the Artemis project I'm reading. Well, that's right. So NASA is standing down on the latest launch attempt for the uncrewed Artemis 1 mission, but unlike previous attempts, and there have been several now, this is not due to technical issues. Rather, this is the work of Mother Earth herself as Hurricane Ian barrels toward Florida. Now, NASA made the decision to roll that giant mega moon rocket called the Space Launch System and its accompanying Orion capsule back to the Vehicle Assembly Building at Kennedy Space Center from the launch pad just this morning. It will happen overnight tonight over the course of about 10 hours. And the next launch attempt as early as the middle of October now. Shep? All right. Thanks very much, Morgan Brennan.